I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at using the FLIR-1 Generation 3 thermal camera to diagnose areas in your home where you're losing heat or cold through cracks um, and areas that you could fix to make your home more insulated and uh, more energy efficient. So um, this is looking at my front door from the inside, and it's hotter outside than it is in my home. So my goal here would be to make sure that uh, not too much of the cold air in my home is escaping or warm air coming in from the outside. Um, so you can notice a couple of things right off the bat. I'm looking at the door here. Um, let's compare it to the wall next to the door. The door itself is going to be warmer, so it's not as good of an insulator because uh, it's thinner than the full walls of my house. Not a huge differential, but definitely is there. Um, and then looking at the actual door, the area that's allowing the most hot air into the home is the crack between the doors here. Um, so the air coming in there is, you know, 75 degrees versus the 70 degrees or so um, of the, the walls inside my home. Um, definitely looking at the bottom of the door, you can see there's not only a lot um, coming in through there, but actually as we get closer, there's a specific area here that looks like, you know, it's up around 83, 84 degrees. So probably um, that's an area where the, the weather stripping along the bottom of my door maybe has come up a little bit. So I'll try to get a little closer here. I'm gonna to turn to the side actually. Um, and yeah, you can see it's actually, the weather stripping has actually pulled back and I can see even some visible light coming in. So I'm probably losing a good amount of cold air just through that one little crack. And that's something I could easily uh, fix and that would reduce the amount of air that's being lost through that gap. Um, and even looking here, I actually have a little gap between the doors, I'm still not even losing as much uh, through that as that one that's very hard to see unless you can actually look at it under a thermal camera. But these are the sorts of things that you can then target for home improvements and improve the energy efficiency of the house. Um, a couple other things that are interesting here, anything where it's going through the door uh, is letting a certain amount of hot air in. So even actually this um, uh, handle of my uh, door here is conducting some of the heat. Maybe it's in the sun outside. So I'm getting a little bit of that seeping through. Um, but, you know, again, putting in uh, probably some kind of drought excluder at the bottom um, or just improving the weather stripping would probably make this door a lot more efficient. Um, and then also ensuring that this crack here between the doors is as small as possible. So maybe these need to be reseated. Maybe I need to add some weather stripping mm -hmm. to protect that area. Um, definitely some things to target to make this more efficient. So now I'm looking at the window um, in my home here. And you know, you would think a window would be an area where you would lose a lot of, uh, of air, but actually I have um, dual pane windows, uh, which are the most efficient. And um, you can see actually the temperature of the glass here, 72.6 versus the wall, 72.3 or something like that, really extremely close. So counterintuitively, I'm actually losing a lot more cold air through the door um, than I am through the glass of my window. Um, that's not to say that windows don't have an impact. Sun can come through and heat the floor and heat the house up through a window, um, but uh, I'm actually not losing a lot of cold air through the glass itself. It's basically at the same temperature as the rest of the house. So that can show you, you know, where dual pane windows really make a big impact. It's almost like a wall versus the door. You could see, um, you know, with any imperfection there, I am losing cold air to the outside. Now, the final thing I want to look at is here's the door to my garage. Now, a lot of people think, well, the garage is sort of part of the house um, and they don't realize how much uh, heat or, or cold air they're losing through their garage. So homes lose a lot more air through the garage than you would expect. And my garage is actually closed at the moment. So it feels like it's part of the house and that it's insulated. But if you look at the air coming in, it's still, you know, 75 degrees. Uh, you know, seeking, uh, slipping through this door here. Um, and this has pretty good weather stripping, but you know, again, the garage, because it's not insulated as well, usually as the rest of the house, and because you're opening and closing it, and often it has different ventilation, it actually is much closer to the outside temperature. Um, and so, you know, this is a mistake a lot of people make, thinking that, oh, I only have to insulate uh, my front door, or my side doors to the outside. Actually, homes lose a lot of cold air uh, during the summer through the garage. So that's something to look at. And, you know, again, just looking at this here for me, I can definitely see how adding 
uh, something at the bottom here or even adding some more weather stripping, uh, I'm losing a lot of cold through that gap at the bottom of the door. And if I can improve that, uh, that's probably going to make the home more efficient. So don't overlook the um, door into your garage, even though, again, the garage sort of feels like part of the home. It's usually going to be closer to the outside temperature and um, making improvements to the garage uh, door into the home can actually lead to much better efficiency. So those are some uh, you know, ways you can use a thermal camera to diagnose and correct issues with uh, you know, losing hot air or cold air from your home and improve your insulation. Even if you don't have a thermal camera though, you know, these are probably areas where you might have uh, similar types of issues in your own home. So, you know, take a look at your doors, take a look at the weather stripping. Counterintuitively, little cracks or airs in the weather stripping uh, can let in or out a lot more air than, you know, a window or something that seems like an obvious problem. And then also, you know, don't forget to take a look at the garage door and see if a more efficient door um, or better weather stripping could make improvements there. And the final piece that I think is really cool is, you know, dual pane windows really do work. Uh, you saw the window is basically the same as a, as a wall in the house. Um, so if you have the option to upgrade to those or you're looking at buying a home, uh, definitely consider getting one with dual pane windows because, you know, they really do seem to do a great job of uh, preventing air from escaping out of the house. If I found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.